Okay, guys, so here's E-1. This should be pretty straightforward um, and not very long, the practice. But I'm going to explain to you what this is. And I'm sorry, I'm using like a kind of a crappy um, camera, so it's going to keep, you know, focusing. And so sorry about that. So use an in-out chart to decompose the given expression. Represent the outside function in the form a blank to the n. Okay, so um, so the whole thing is, guys, we're we're gearing up. So right now we've got pro, we've got limit. We could use a limit process to find a derivative. That's the longest way. You don't want to do it unless the directions say so. We have power rule. We have product rule. We have quotient rule. There is a fourth rule that is called the chain rule. So this E-1 is getting us ready to use the chain rule, all right? So it's not gonna, this isn't good, you're kind, you might kind of feel like, why are we doing this? And you'll see when I introduce the chain rule. Um, now to use the chain rule at a certain point in that process, you're gonna want to use the power rule. That's why this A blank to the N is, uh, is important. Okay, so um, this first one here. So what we want to use is, so we're, we're basically identifying for our reader and ourselves later for the chain rule. What is the, so, so this expression here can be looked at as a composition of two other expressions. I'll just say function. I'm not saying function because I don't have like y equals or f of x equals, but let's, let's just say we got a function here. We're looking for the inside function and the outside function. You could usually, this is not always the case, but for a while, um, the functions we encounter, if there is an inside function, it's going to be inside of parentheses or under a radical. So you look here, you, you see these parentheses. Well, what's inside the parentheses? X to the third plus three. Okay. And then for the outside function, you just take out the inside and you've got blank parentheses to the fifth. Okay. So the inside function is X to the third plus three. The outside function is blank to the fifth. Right. Um, yeah, so cause, because this, is inside of that. Um, so yeah, basically you identify the inside and then for the outside, you just take out the inside. So um, in, out. Okay, so what is the inside function? Remember, very often it's gonna be inside parentheses or under a radical. So the inside is negative three x to the fifth plus one because that's what's inside parentheses. Now, for the outside function, you're just going to rewrite this whole thing, but you're going to remove the inside. So, 4 blank to the negative 3. Oh, and by the way, both of these outsides are of the form A blank to the N. A blank to the N. A is 1 blank to the N. Okay, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, now for number three. Um, okay, so as I said, the um, you look for the inside function, and the inside function for a while are usually not always the case, but um, can can be found either inside of a parentheses or um, under a radical. All right, so here I've got the square root of negative 2x squared plus 1. So I could just take what's under the radical, and that's my inside. Okay? And then the outside function, and this might be like a little bit longer. So the outside function, I just, you know, take that out, and I have a, a radical. Oh, and I'll, I could leave maybe like a blank where that was. Now, this is good. Like, I've decomposed this into an inside and an outside, but the outside is not written how the directions would like in the form A blank to the N, all right? 
So A blank to the end. Guys, the radical blank is the same as blank to the one half. All right. So, so this is the outside function, blank to the one half. Alrighty, now this one here. So I'm going to look for the inside function either under a radical or inside of parentheses. Here I kind of have both thing, things going on. So I've got 2 minus 3x to the fourth. Okay, that is the inside function. It's inside parentheses. Now for the outside function, I'll just remove that. So I've got the fourth root of blank to the nine. All right, fourth root of blank to the ninth. Um, that is the same as blank to the nine over four, All right? And now it is this that is of the form a blank to the n, okay? Which is what the directions want. Now, two more. Okay, so inside, outside. All right, so this time the inside function is 5 minus x squared. The outside function is 2 over blank to the fifth. Um, all right, so 2 over blank to the fifth. So this is the same as 2 blank to the negative fifth. Okay, so now this is of the form ax to the n. And guys, like just as an aside, don't use x, you know, because they're already using x. But if it's hard for you to take something with a blank and make it two blank to the, or a, a blank to the n, you could maybe put like a u there or something. So that'd be two, two u to the fifth, um, which is two u to the negative five. And then I just leave... I just leave a blank where there was the, um, where, where I had the U here. All right. So same thing would have worked like, like up here. If you wanted to do, to do an aside, like square root of U would be U to the one half. And then, you know, instead of a U, you're just leaving a placeholder. That's really what I'm saying blank because it's just easier. They're called placeholders. They're holding a place. Um, so a placeholder to the n. It's holding a place of something that we're going to put, put back in there. Okay, now this one here. So um, in, out. Okay, so I'm looking for something that is under a radical or inside a parenthesis. I see, so I see under this radical, I've got, you know, x minus 9 to the second, but then I can go even further inside into this parentheses. Okay, so what you're looking when you're looking for the inside function, you're looking for the innermost function. Okay, so that's why, you know, that's why it's just going to be x minus nine. It's not x minus nine squared, because although that would be under a radical, there is more, there's more of a there's something inside of that even. So it's going to be the innermost function that we're looking for which in this case is x minus 9, because it's inside of those parentheses. Okay, and now the outside function is five, the fifth root of blank to the second. I remember you could always, if it's hard for you to take this and put it in this form, you know, just with, with a placeholder being there, then you could do a little aside. I'll put a u for the placeholder. All right, so that's 5u to the second, and uh, this is u to the 2 fifths. So this is going to be blank to the 2 fifths. All right. And again, these asides with the u's are just in case, you know, it might be easier. It's definitely more familiar for you to see a variable there instead of, instead of a placeholder. So that may help. Okay, guys. Um, so the practice is just a bunch of these. You want to be super, super fast at it. So I gave you a bunch to do, but they should go fast. And if it's not fast for you, that just means you need to practice more because this needs to be fast. And if it's not at the beginning, you'll get there with practice. 
All right, I'll talk to you later.